All right, so let's take a look at the uh, arteries and veins of the chest. Um, and we'll start off, we'll run through all the veins and then do all the arteries. So the first one here, this is going to be the superior vena cava. Okay, and can you see this big blue one going right in here? It goes right into that right atrium. Um, the inferior vena cava, which we saw down in the abdomen before, you can also see here if we lift up the heart. So all of this blue coming down here, um, and it passes right down through the diaphragm, um, and also goes right into that right atrium. So they both feed right into the right atrium. Okay? Uh, the brachiocephalic veins are this chunk right here, so it's all the blood coming back from your head and arms. Brachio is, is arms, cephalic is head. So from here to here on each side, so that's brachio, the right brachiocephalic, here is the left brachiocephalic uh, vein. And as we said, the, the veins from the arms and the head come into there. So the uh, jugulars feed right into there, so this is the external jugular on the right side. And the internal jugular, a little bit trickier, but here's that blue on the opposite side, so it runs right next to this common carotid here. So those are the two jugulars. And this is the uh, subclavian vein. We can see it actually a little bit better over on this side. So here's the subclavian vein on that side. Uh, we just don't have an internal jugular over on this side. So we have the external, but the, the internal uh, didn't get any of the blue dot. Right. Next thing down um, is the uh, internal mammary vein. So the internal mammary vein usually comes right off of this um, superior vena cava right off the top here and goes straight out towards the ceiling uh, right out to where the chest wall would have been right the chest wall would have been sitting right here so it would have come straight out to that chest wall alright so let's look at the arteries so the first artery you guys are supposed to learn is the pulmonary artery it's the one that bothers people the most um, it's on the top of the heart here it's this soft little squishy part here uh, so here's the aorta here's the arch that's going to be the aortic arch going across um, but this part right here is the pulmonary artery it comes from this right ventricle squeezes up and out and it goes to both the lungs uh, the aorta is that arch we just pointed out. It goes right here. Um, and remember that it actually loops and goes all the way down the back. So if I yank this over, this is all the aorta going right here down the back side as well. Um, so the aorta comes right up here, comes right up and in. And we got a little bit of connective still in the way here that I'm going to try and rip out of the way to show it to you. But um, And that's the actual vagus nerve right there that's coming right down to the heart. Uh, that I'm yanking on there, so maybe I'll leave that in place. But, um, but that's the aorta coming right up, going right to the top of the heart. So from this view, if I get that lung back where it normally is, there it is, and it wraps around down behind the heart. Right? Uh, the coronary artery is right on the surface of the heart. It's not great on this one, but see this red line going right across here? That's the coronary artery. Remember, that feeds the muscle of the heart um, and keeps it able to contract. The brachiocephalic artery is this branch right here that comes off the aorta. Um, and you'll notice it splits, so it's only from here to here. That's the brachiocephalic, and then it splits into three pieces. We've got the right subclavian, which comes out here, comes all the way out, and loops all the way out to here and goes out into the arm. So that's the same blood vessel. It goes from there all the way down underneath and comes back to here. And then these are the two common carotids. They come off here and here on either side, and they go all the way up to here. That's one common carotid, and there's the other common carotid. So those come off the brachiocephalus. Okay. Um, in a weird setup, uh, the left subclavian does not come off the brachiocephalic. It comes off all by itself over here. Um, and this is the left subclavian um, that comes up here and kind of loops underneath this mass. You won't be able to see it. We couldn't clean it off without ripping this apart. But it goes all the way out to here and goes all the way out to the arm. And that's going to be your, um, your left subclavian artery. Right. Uh, the only one we have left is the internal mammary artery, and that usually comes off of the two subclavians. So here is one of them. Uh, I know it's kind of hard to see, especially in this video, but that's one of them. Uh, and it comes off of this left subclavian, and the other one would have come off someplace over here. I think this red spot is where it got ripped off um, in the process of opening up the chest. And that's your arteries and veins.